Okay guys, gather round for me. If you can just come round this way, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, just make a bit more room there and we'll make a stop. Right. Okay. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood was founded in 1848 by John Everett Millet and two fellow students at the Royal Academy School in London. Now John was the youngest student to enter the Royal Academy School. He was their star pupil at the tender age of just 11 years old. There was William Ullman Hunt, age 21, and Dante Gabriel Rossetti, painter and poet. He dropped out of the Royal Academy School, choosing instead to study with working painters in the real world, so to speak. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood were like-minded individuals that were dissatisfied with the teaching they received at the Royal Academy School. The rules. Why should the highest light be on the principal figure? Why make one corner of the picture always in the shade? They were breaking away from the conventional fundamentals of what was being taught at the Royal Academy. They wanted to make their mark in the art world. They wanted fame, riches, women, wealth. What they wanted was revolution, change, positive change. All of them wanted to work together as a crew. They all agreed that during the 19th century, British art had become lazy, predictable and boring. Don't be predictable with your artwork, guys. Experiment with different types of artwork. The word pre-Raphaelite, this means before the Raphaelites. The Raphaelites, they were followers of Raphael, the imitators. Raphael, the great artist of the High Renaissance, the Golden Age, just after the year 1500s. His style had got very conventional, made into this formula by his students, the next generation, the Raphaelites. So the pre-Raphaelites was completely rejecting this formula this way of creating artwork. They were inspired by artwork that predated Raphael. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, the artwork by the Pre-Raphaelites is consistently filled with detail, almost photographic. Each brushstroke meticulously applied. Time this was fresh, it was new, it was unprecedented. The Pre-Raphaelite group was interested in literature and poetry and had a fascination with the role of women in society. Just like the painting behind me of Fanny Cornforth, also subjects from urban life. Amongst this cultural revolution, the critics, the press, the media thought the work was disgusting, frantic, trash. Juvenile artists that the artwork did not sell. They were at the centre of this national debate. John Ruskin came to their rescue. The words from John Ruskin was enough to make or break an artist. The author of Modern Painter was, was a critic with unprecedented power in the art world and was really leading the way for cultural thinking and change. He kept quiet for two years about the Pre-Raphaelites. I believe he was observing, watching, taking his time um, calculating maybe his decision, his thoughts, his opinions about them. Later to the Times, newspapers supporting the young rebels changed everything for them. In just a few years at the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood Foundation, in 1848, they had just achieved their aims of writing down principles, coming together as a collective group. They achieved their aims. Their aims of reforming British art. Moving away from religious scenes to the hustle and bustle of modern day life, some of the examples are in a painting called A Street Scene in Cairo by William Holman Hunt. The principles was not just about capturing life as it was, or just to be true to nature, but to imagine how scenes from the past might actually have been like. They also brought a new realism to the table, upturned the rules on composition, introduced new painting techniques. So today's session in the gallery is inspired by the free